Hey friends, in this video I will show you how to web push notification work for a website and how to create a web push notification by using Firebase. So firstly I will show you how it's work, right? I need to enter one title and here some message and here you need to add one token where to send this message so you have to enter one token now when I click on send button then you will get this type of notification on your browser so how it's work how we can uh, uh, create this type of notification so by using firebase we can create this type of notification right so firstly we need to how I already created one demo uh, so I will show you what step by step how this is work right I already created one uh, block for uh, this web push notification so let's see step by step right firstly you have to search my blog on uh, Google like a firebase push notification by signer web you will get the first link on google you have to uh, you can also find this link on my video description so when you click on this uh, first link you will get my blog i also share this link in my video description so you can directly get from there okay see here every step I created so let's start with first step go to the firebase google.com so I click on this you need uh, your uh, gmail id for this uh, uh, firebase account so I already logged in my gmail id so that's why I directly log in with this firebase now we also follow our blog step by step step one now click on get started right get started you can also follow my this blog so you can easily create this uh, firebase web push notification okay now you have to click on add project now here you have to uh, select enter your project name sorry so I have to web push notification. So I have to create one project name web push notification SW. Right now I click on continue. Now click on continue. Now select your account here, which uh, will be helpful for your analytics, right? So I have to create my Shiner Web account. Now create a project. So we get started, add project, and create project. So we have done four step, right? Just to, just to wait for a few minutes. Now click on continue. See your dashboard is created for web push notification. Here we need to click on this button. Here you need to give your app name. You don't need if you need a firebase hosting then you have to click here if you don't need then uh, uh, just leave it click on register app now here you have to click on this use script tag now you just copy this so further we'll 
need this code so i have to copy this in my notepad for your further coding we will use this code right this is our credential firebase config credential so that api key or domain and everything will use in further coding so now click on continue to console uh, now step 7 is you need to create a one folder inside a ww right so i have already logged in my hosting so i create a one folder inside this ww folder notification you must have to uh, create this folder on your live server right in local server you must you don't uh, getting any notification so you must have to uh, create this folder on live server so i have a one godaddy hosting so i will i have to create this folder inside my godaddy hosting right now so i have created notification underscore sw so in this folder you need to create a one file so i have to create a one file my application dot html so what happened i take uh, firstly i copy this code inside this You can also copy this code from my blog, right? So I have to create this file and save on my desktop. There is also create a one folder notification underscore sw just for and that file name should be not should be but it depends on you right just type copy this file name here also so i have created a one html file right now 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 scroll it down and in obo code you can change your firebase config details so i already told you so here here you need to change your firebase config details so which we already copy paste that details while we are creating our project so i copy paste this my config details from there now it's okay so you have to copy paste this config details and remain will be same now now one more file you need to create like a send notification.php so I also copy paste this file name and create a one more file send notification.php and so copy paste this code okay simply i copy paste this code right here you need to provide your authorization key and where to i getting this authorization key let's see go setting button and there is a one option cloud messaging so we have to go our dashboard click on and setting button and click on project setting and click on cloud messaging after that so we get our server key from there so copy paste this and simply pass this 
सर्वर की हि राइट नाउ सेव दिस नाउ रिमेन विल बी सेम ओके नो प्रॉब्लम नाउ लेट्स सी व्हाट्स द नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्टेप once our uh, file is created then we need to upload it that file on our server i created that file on my desktop uh, desktop so i will upload that file on my server so here my what file are there so i upload it on my live server you must have to uh, https server uh, sorry https domain for this right so both files are uploaded on my live server so now let's see what's remaining see after creating uh, about two files you must have to create uh, one file firebase messaging sw.js at root level so this is a don't forget to add this file because i facing some issue while i like creating a uh, demo so firebase messaging or js file so uh, we will create this file also so this is our js file javascript file sorry js file and click on save now copy paste this code inside the our firebase messaging dot sw file here also you need to copy paste your firebase config details right so i also copy paste that details here in my js file now what happen this file you have to upload it on root level so you have to uh, cop you have to upload this file on root level so go to the server see here you go to the root level it means uh, your www folder and there you have to upload this file right so now now everything is done right so now we will access our notification from some another browser so we will open some another browser so we can check our project is working or not right so you must have a https then your domain name like my domain name is signerweb.com and there is i have created one folder notification underscore sw and there is my uh, one file what is my file name i just forgot it my application dot html so my application dot html so let's check see here you need to allow your uh, notification so you need to click on allow now your token is generated so now how to check how to send notification on that so we need to we also create a one one more file and and that file name is send notification dot php so
अंडरस्कोर एस डब्ल्यू so so you have to open your uh, send notification dot php file after that copy this uh, token from the browser and here you have to write uh, some message sign uh, web sorry title and then message this is test and enter it your token so when i click on send notification so let's see it's notification see here you getting a, a notification right so here i also generate some token so finally this uh, project is done for a web push notification so you have to follow this uh, blog also and follow our video step by step so you you can also do this uh, web push notification by using firebase so uh how was this video so you can comment uh, or if you getting any uh, error while creating this project or if you any problem for uh, creating this project so you most welcome for uh, comments in this video and also don't forget to uh, subscribe our channel so support us and we will try to create some uh this type of video in future also so uh, get in touch with us so thanks for uh, watching and